Hey, so in this video I wanted to talk about PCDMS report templates and just give you some tips on working with the different templates provided with the software. So what you're looking at here is the uh, PPAP template. Um, I know a lot of programmers like this template but they don't always like all the extra information at the top. They just like the layout on the bottom with the pass fail, the check mark. So what I want to show you today is how to create your own template using part of this template and part of another template. So if I go to the default template, the text only here, you can see that there's a timestamp, a date stamp, um, and different uh, other boxes like for serial number uh, and so forth. So what I'm going to do is create my own template um, that incorporates a bit of each and is just a more simple layout. So I've already done it and I'll, I'll show you uh, what that looks like. So here's my template where I combined part of the PPAP, the part that I like, and then I created uh, my own custom header that's pretty simple, it just has part name, time, and date, and then my company information on the top. Okay, so I'll show you how I did that. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is open the report template editor. So you can find that under file reporting and edit, and what we want to edit is the report template. First thing we're going to do is make a copy of the PPAP right here. So I'll just right click copy and paste. So I'll rename this and then I'll work with this. So I'll call it PPAP demo. So let's open that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is actually just delete a bunch of stuff that we don't want. So I don't want any of this on the top here. So you can see when you click on these objects, um, they're selected so I'm just gonna go through and cl click on everything so I'll delete all that I'll keep this box up here but I'll just retype the text so I'll just call it um, like ABC company uh, limited something like that and then I can also increase the font size if I select the text box I can change it up here maybe go to something like uh, 12 or something. Um, I could also apply some shading. So to do more with these boxes, what you do is a single click, then a right click to get to the properties. Okay, so I'm just going to expand this a little bit so we can see the words. So what I want to change is the back color. I'll just click on the word default and I'll just choose a shade of gray and you can even uh, customize that, lighten it or darken it just like that. So I'll just go with a light gray and okay so you can see what that looks like and there's there's other things you can do with the border and so forth but that's all I want to do at this time so to include some custom information what I want to do is create what's called a grid control object so this um, symbol here I'll click on that and I'll drag a box and then you can include as many cells as you want so right now I've got uh, five if I want to create more or less columns, I just go over here and change it there. So if I go to four, hit tab, then you can see that's adjusted. So then I'll just adjust the, uh, the sizing as well. Okay, and then just make it even with the top. And then you can move up down just using the arrow keys on your keyboard. That's what I'm doing right now. So let's work with this for a little bit. So I mentioned earlier that you can copy from existing templates, label templates, report templates. So what I want to do is put the date here in this cell and then, so I'll just double click on it there. And then I want to put the time in this cell. So there are formulas for that, but if, if, if you don't remember what they are or don't want to look them up, what you can do is just copy from an existing template. So what I'll do is copy from a label template. So let's open that, so file reporting. So I can, I can have both open at the same time. So I'm just gonna edit a label template. So it's file header.lbl is the one I want. So that is, that's on the default report. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that. And all I wanna do here is copy some of the code. So date is here, so I'm gonna double click on that. Right click, and you can see the code right there. So I'm just gonna select all, copy, cancel that and I can keep this open I can just kind of toggle between my report editor um, this one here 
click on the cell I want the date so I'll put the date here double click right click and just paste it in here and apply see how that looks there we go um, so the other thing you can do here is justify it horizontally vertically just to center it I could change the font all that but I'll just keep it simple for now <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do the date now so in, in this cell here I want oh, sorry the time I want the time in that cell so back to my report or label template editor and I'll just copy the code in this one here so right click and then I'll just go ahead and copy that so I mean it's just a quick way to do it I don't memorize all these formulas back to this one double click right click paste apply and close um, oh yeah so we'll also justify that as well just right here so horizontal vertical just to, just to center it up so it looks better so date and time so we're getting there um, so for part name what I'll do is two things I'll just write in um, the cell expression is just text I'll just in capitals I'll just put part name and then a colon and apply and this one here I'm, I'm just gonna write a formula so this is just equals part name okay so that should work and again I'll do the uh, just to make it look better I'll do the justification center center and to this one as well right click center center and apply so we'll see how that looks so that looks good so that's pretty much what I did with my template so the other thing I want to do is is move things around so I'm gonna click on this the headings here this is what I, I, I want to keep this one actually so I'm just gonna slide that up there and the other thing is this area here where you see these green handles I want to that's where our dimensions will go so right now that's a little too far away so I'm just gonna drag that up and then come down here and the other thing I want to get rid of is actually this signature title and date I just don't want that so I'm just gonna delete that so I'm gonna leave it at that just to give you an idea of a real simple uh, modification on an existing template and let's see if that works so the next thing I need to do is save this so this is called demo ppap uh, hyphen demo let's close that um, so yes I'll, I'll, I'll save that and I'll leave that open for now and back to my report window so what we need to do now is we need to actually search for that template in the reporting folder so the next step is to go to this button here template selection dialog and it won't be in this list so we need to browse for it so we'll go to the add button so there it is there uh, ppap demo.rtp so I'm going to open that so now it's in this list here of current templates and I'll just go ahead and open that and it should update here so that's what I was looking for uh, just a real simple uh, alteration um, a nice clean report and no information there that I didn't really want to see so I, I'm controlling the content um, the last thing I'll show you is how to add that to the toolbar so you can see I've added my custom one here ppap cmm xyz uh, we can actually add this template to this uh, toolbar as an icon to do that we just simply press this button here add template to toolbar and you can see it's right which one is it this one here so there's the the one I just made uh, here's mine that I made earlier and here is the default one so not too much work um, but I just wanted to, to give you a, a quick tutorial on that because um, I do know a lot of people like this template but they don't like all the extra information there at the top so it's actually quite simple to, to just modify that and then use your own template okay that's about it um, I hope you found that useful thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time